so I was gonna stream tonight, but would you believe me if I told you I had some troubles with, with good old Mediacom? That's right. <laughs> Those those cards over at Mediacom. So there's a second part to the summer event, which is actually in in Japan. This is like two years worth of events that we're getting within like, you know, two months or one month actually. Um, there was they just had two summer characters one year and then two summer characters the next year, but um, in the global version they went and accelerated the pace, which is pretty cool because usually in these games. When there's a global version, they kind of start from the beginning and they, they slowly meter it out as if the game had just come out and, like, you know, emulate the release schedule of the original. And that kind of, you know, it, it lets you, you know, slowly ease into it, but it also kind of sucks because there's all these characters that you know are out there, but you can't, you can't use them and stuff. Especially Bugs when games do that for, like, DLC schedules, like, for a, like, paid game. Especially like free DLC, <laughs> it always seems dumb. Like uh, Nippon Ichi Software kind of tends to do that, and it's silly. Uh, Senator Kagura does it as well. I don't, I don't tend to get much of Senator Kagura's DLC. I don't really like how Japan does DLC in general. But yeah, here's the second event thing. There is new characters: Summer Remy, Remy, and uh, Sophie. And uh, I would like both of them, especially Sophie. Sophie's a healer, which I don't have any five-star healers. But the map is pretty short again. And uh, I figured I would just do some pulls here to hopefully get... I saved my... Um... One cool feature about this game is that 5-star cards... You can get these tickets to do a 5-star summon. That's a guaranteed... Uh, where's the summon? Oh, it's here. Um, guaranteed pull of a 5-star character. Like, 99.9% .9 of the time in a game like this, uh, that never includes any kind of limited character. Let me get my free pull here, quick. But that, like, never includes limited characters. And I I used one of them in, during the last thing, and I got actually got both summer characters through five star tickets. So uh, I realized that I should save these for events where I you know don't have the characters already. So I saved. I think I only had one to save, but um, Let's get on with it. no thanks. <laughs> the the free summon you kind of expect garbage. Uh, this is one of those games where if you do a ten pull, it has much better rates. It has like three times better rate of getting good stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't need that duder. Parker is assisting me. If I accidentally press a button and like, you know, burn all my gems, it's because Parker is helpfully rubbing his face against my uh, hand here. Let's see, I think I've got some tickets. Let's see, let's just use these tickets. Who is that like weird deer eared girl? There's there's a lot of animal eared people. And I don't understand. I don't understand the lore. By the way, I, this the game's story makes no sense. So Eve here got lost or something in space, which I guess is a pretty Star Ocean thing to ha happen. Normal stuff, right? Um, so to help out, we're summoning all of these other people. But doesn't that just basically mean we're making them get lost with us and, like, trapped here? Like, isn't there somebody out there who can summon us back to home? Wouldn't, wouldn't that make more sense? Also, it seems kind of dumb that there's a faceless main character that is, like, you, the protagonist. But there's also Eve, who's like the real, actually on-screen protagonist. I, it doesn't seem necessary to add the, you know, master character. I don't like how Gashapon games always do that. I kind of I like that in Makai Wars. I don't understand the sto damn story a bit. But as far as I can tell, it's really just Asagi doing all this. Ooh, that is one of the new people. That wow, that's from a four or five. I think that's Sophie. Hey yeah, there, Sophie. Why is it so quiet? Do you not have a voice line thing? Oh, she's got the little watermelon. <laughs> it's got a little kitty thing. Ah, Parker just about knocked my phone out of my hands with his tail. You, you are a helpful cat. Um, so yeah, that's Summer Sophia already. Why is it so quiet? I'm gonna turn it up on my end, I guess. I'll edit it in post so it's not like ridiculously quiet, I guess. Uh, I'm out of those. So that, that went well. I think this gives a 5-star ace character, which also, 5-star ace characters are usually with the limited. So an ace character is like better stats than a regular 5-star even, but they cost twice as much to limit break. So it's kind of, and limit breaking is already really expensive. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, you're good too. Wait, that's regular Remy. We're getting lots of Remy. Well, hopefully getting lots of Remy. Hi there. I guess the music kind of goes down there. 
She's got a booty out there in that that picture. <laughs> I like that she's got like, her skirt is, ex is specifically designed. It's got a booty window specifically. You know, you wouldn't want your skirt to cover the booty. That would be that would be a shame. Anyway, that was that was pretty good luck. Let's see if we can buy any character tickets um, from the event thing. I haven't looked at the event shop yet. So yeah, as far as three pulls, considering, I mean, those were five-star guaranteed. Well, four or five-star guaranteed. Um, but that was still pretty dang lucky. Um, let's go to the event shop. There's usually at least one uh, five-star ticket. This game's pretty generous with its character tickets and stuff. Uh, I think I'm pretty well set. I think I've got, like, I want to say, like, maybe eight or nine five-stars already. And I started last week, and it, it kind of starts you off with a, with a pile, and events give you one or two... Let's see what we got here. This event, by the way, the boss, I'll show you the boss in a bit, but it's like particular? really easy. Uh, it's it's only a Misery 1, so like the super hard mode is like Misery 1 and Misery 2, and the last one had ended with a Misery 2 boss. This one just has Misery 1. I don't know what the deal is with that exactly. Uh, there's the 4 to 5 star character ticket, so yeah, I'll buy that. Only one of those. Like I said, those, that's, you know... Pretty good stuff. Symbol of the Sea God. What is that? It's really expensive. Silence nullification, int damage taken. Hmm. So the last one was like minus a specific element of damage. Parker is seeing the demons. By the way, if you support my patron, our next goal at 200 a month, there's no demons. The, the, the next goal is uh, to get a Parker cam, so we'll be able to see, we'll be able to watch Parker destroy my streams. What is this? Orb infused with, it's a beach ball. The colors amplifying, it's a, it's a beach ball. What do you mean? What do you mean ocean's eye? Is this a wep, this is a weapon? Okay, but yeah, the weapons, the game, the, the, the events seem to always have weapons specifically designed for the event characters, right? So I bet that's really good for Summer Sophie, I'm guessing, because she had the beach balls going on. And not just those beach balls, that's inappropriate. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this boss seemed really easy, and the, the events are pretty short. I, I will say, this game, I ran through the story really quick, but otherwise, I, I do enjoy it, but... Alright, let's go do... Let's use that ticket... And I guess do a 10 pull. Um, I use the tickets from the summon anyway. Hey, Parker Butt. Would you? <laughs> he's he's very insistent on helping me today. Okay. Wait, not the weapon draw. Oh wait, I have a weapon ticket. Sure, I'll use that. Three star weapon. <laughs> I don't know why they hate bothered. Three star weapons are like pretty bad. Um, I pretty quickly got some five star stuff. But yeah. How do you summon a weapon, by the way? Like... Battle gloves. Okay. Yeah, three-star weapon. That, that's, that's so odd to, to have it even bother doing a thing there. I think of a five-star... Yeah, I've got some five-star weapon ones. These are much better. It seems like a game... It's kind of evenly split between gear leveling up and character leveling up, right? So... You can enhance your weapons and stuff, but, um, oh, it's a bow. I, well, I did just get a five-star character who uses a bow, but I have, like, three five-star bows, and I have no five-star, um, knives, which I got a really good character. I got Claire, who seems really good. She uses knives, which are long-range weapons somehow, but I guess you throw them, but... Mm. Throwing a knife, though, is a good way to turn it from a short-range weapon to a no-range weapon, though. But, you know, video games, you have infinite knives. What? Network error. Well, that's good old Mediacom. Giving me some grief, probably. It's actually usually just the streaming that's a problem. Like, my normal upload stuff is usually just fine, so it's something specific to streaming sites. But not just YouTube. Um, it does it to Twitch, and it does it to Restreamio. We got a gun, which I... Don't really use anybody that uses guns, but at least umbral blast. Okay. At least it's a weapon. I don't have. I didn't have a five star gun before, so it's okay. Uh, increased chance of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's. All right, we're we're really hoping for summer Remy. 
which I heard, I heard is really good. She's an attacker, which I don't have... I do have a 5-star attacker, but it would still be nice. She's cuter than the 5-star attackers that I have. We need to get that $200 patron gold because you can... <laughs> Parker looks adorable with this. Um, I got the fan on high so my Chromecast doesn't overheat, which is a problem. And, um... Let me break five, dang. Um, <laughs> Parker looks very majestic with his fluff blowing about. Alright, so... Let's, let's take a look at the odds, just so you get kind of an idea of how deep in the gosh of this game is. So, five-star odds. Um, it's a 1% chance, unfortunately. So, that was a really lucky pull, even though it was a five. Guaranteed five, though it's much higher than the other five-stars. So... I think, wait, oh wait, no, no, it's 10, uh, one, so it lists the 10, the one pull first, the 10 star, or the 10 pull, uh, yeah, it's 3% chance for each of the, the, the rare ones, it's got like a different weapon type, I don't know what that is, I guess it's like the ball, I've never seen that weapon type, I wonder if that's like, just only she gets that kind of weapon. Positional attacker that increase their attack and rush combo damage. Yeah, that's the one I'm missing. So I have this one, that, which is the healer, which I wanted the most, kind of, because I don't have a good healer. Um, I think some of Remy is cuter, but let's just see what we get. I'm always very reluctant to spend this kind of crap, because you can... You can buy all kinds of crap with the diamonds, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of surprised how much- how- these guys always have such a super fancy summoning animation, it's like... But I'm just gonna be skipping it. I'm just gonna be skipping it, like, all of the time. I don't know who that- I don't know- I don't know the characters from Star Ocean, I'm sorry. So I'm just- I'm just looking for the limited peoples. I like that one, though, she's cute. Oh, hey, Claire! That's one of the person- that's one of the people I was wanting to use. I'm sorry, but the 2D art looks so much, so much better than the the 3D. It doesn't look bad graphically. Oh hey. I heard she's still really good. I've heard the game kind of has some power creep, but Miria, the regular invoker form, is still really good. I always feel sorry for the three star and four star. You know, the the not top tier characters in these games because. You just kind of groan when you see them, even if they have good designs and stuff. It's like, statistically speaking, you you are, you're bad. Oh no, go away! I hate when you get two of the same. Speaking of two of the same, it's a pretty standard draw there. Nothing of particular. Well, Claire was Claire was a good one, and I mean we got two five stars. This really wasn't too bad. It just wasn't what I was looking for. So yeah, Summer Remy. Remy? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Skip. I'm strong too, you know. I'm strong too, you know. He's he's strong, guys, even though he's a three star. I feel like I've gotten stronger. Who are you? I don't I don't know these people. See the, the three D art is so much cuter. I'm or the two D art, I'm sorry. Let's send them to the grave. I don't know, there's something about the eyes in the 3D art in this game that I don't like. The, when you view everybody from the back, which is how combat works, it's fine anyway. It's just, I don't know, something about it. It varies per character, like some people. I don't know, they kind of have that... I don't know. I'm here, maggots. <laughs> Thanks. After me. She should probably take that little vi- Oh, she's got- she, I was just about to say she should take that visor off, but she does. Is it some kind of, like, space science visor? It's got a little hat. I just noticed the hat. It's you again. I was using her before, because she... Does she just have a voice crack there? Save the future. By the way, apparently these people are from like different like time periods. We've got some limit break materials at least. Crap. <laughs> That's Summer Rainy. Well, one more. I mean, I have all of this stuff and there's not really... There's no, like, a specific character that I really want because I don't know the series, so... Let's 
Oh, go away. I don't... <laughs> I don't like the weird cat boy. For some reason, he's your default, like, starter character. It's like, I don't understand why. Upon my sword. <laughs> Robot voice. Okay. Just is he just a generic enemy man? I mean, he's got a name. Let us voyage into the vast expanse beyond. Weird Captain Man. Stephen. Stephen. You can count oh hey. On me. Oh, you're not the cute. One. You're not the cutest one. No offense, but there's um. So see the the 2D art is so much better. Holy crap. Um, honey, don't claw my mouse pad, please. No, I just said don't do that. Are you stuck? No? What are you doing? I'm sorry, he's attacking my mouse pad. Um, the ninjas are really cute though. I just I just wish the, the 3D models kind of Let lived up better to the 2D. I think Sarah Kagura does a pretty good job of that, by the way. Do they do a pretty good job of putting the uh the expressiveness of the 2D art into the 3 d ness Especially with the eyes. I feel this game does particularly poorly on the eye front. Usually, usually anime games you expect some really good eyes. They put all of the processing power into the eyes. Honey, please don't put your nose on that. I will do all in my power. Okay. That was a couple pretty bad pulls there. I just want that summer for me. And we did get two new people. Even though I was, I'm kind of surprised that I still had three stars. I guess I haven't really done that many pulls. Oh man. I'll go one more. What else am I going to do with this stuff? I don't really... I do want Eve. I think Eve is a playable character in the Japanese one. This is Eve. Um, they added her later. Kind of weird that she's not playable. Why are you regular Nightman? What? What? I don't understand the lore. Why, why is he a medieval knight in space? Is this like one of those Star Trek episodes? Hello, witch lady. I mean, I, I guess I didn't question the witch people, so I should question... I guess maybe I shouldn't question the medieval knight yes, dude. This is what I've worked so hard for. Yeah, there's like dog cat people. I don't understand. Uh, what? what there's, there's medieval people, there's dog cat. Oh! Another one of you. Well, that's still good. That's still less limit and break materials I need to use, but it's not the summer I, thing I was wanting. Mr. Spooky Man. Boris. He's got that, um. He's got that Uboa mask on. Oh. Shockmaster. Oh, honey, don't attack my mouse pad, please. Okay, we, we get that the power flowed through you, honey bunch. It falls to us to shape. It falls to us! Human voice acting! Honey, please leave my mouse pad alone. Hmm. <laughs> I like how that one guy was new. Okay, one. I can't particularly think of any, ugh, honey, um, characters I would want more <laughs> than the summer one, so I'll, I'll go one more. I'm going to give it my all. Hey, this is a particularly strong disparity between 3D art. Note that she has angel wings, right? Uh, I guess they're kind of angel-y, but they, they look more like, like cyber, like fairy wings in the 3D. Or in the 2D. But I, I guess they're supposed to be. I don't know, it's just... Very different in style. He's your Kawaii cat boy boyfriend. Or cat boyfriend, if you prefer. Yes, yes. Miss Oops! Mr. Nightman? Ah. I think, I think my luck has run dry. Those are some ears. Those, those are some definite ears. We got some new peoples at least. I feel like I've gotten stronger. <laughs> See, that's another one where the discrepancy in art style is so big. Is that witch guy like the boyfriend of that other witch lady? I like this one, even though she's three star. But oh, <laughs> keep getting it falls to us. It falls to me, and he gets summoned a lot. Oh, 
come on. What are these enchanted tablet things do again? Man. Oh wait, I, were at the, I have some support metal things I can draw too. Can I just do a 10? Aw, oh, come on! You did two more. Aw. Oh. I think you can get like character tech, or maybe you can. Ah, whatever. Oh, I'll mess with that later. I just want to show you the boss. That took longer than I expected. I, just, I should have showed you the boss first, maybe. I don't know. But the, the boss only goes up to, like, difficulty, like, hard plus one. And I don't know why. I guess maybe they thought the last one was too hard, maybe? I don't know. It was pretty hard, but the hardest thing was really just that it expected you to beat it in under a minute for one of the titles to get. Which was not happening in my case. Come on now. Uh, you know, I have my stamina's full, I'll make a lobby. I really like how you can just keep playing even when your stamina's out, because you can just join other people and help them out. Despite semi-bad luck with the pulls, I mean, I got... I got good characters, I just didn't get the one. Well, I didn't get one of the two that I wanted, but... Whatevs. It's just like, I have the other three swimsuit peoples. So I may as well get, try to get the last one. And I also really like that, that the, the limit break materials are the same across every person. So like, you're not screwed over by a limited character being in a limited draw. Because like, in some games, if you don't like max out your character during the event, which is like whale only stuff. Um, like if you don't pull 10 duplicates of the same character. Um... You're not gonna get it, but in this game you can just use the same materials for everybody. Oh no, no, I'm auto, I'm auto, auto. No, stop that! I really wish. So I learned that you can hold to ch like charge attacks. So that might be why I was doing so bad with rushing before. And it also turns out that like you can like teleport to enemies. So, like I always thought the short range skills were like really bad because it didn't make sense because they're so hard to um. It's so hard to get close, because you move so slow. But it turns out you basically teleport to them to uh, to do damage really quick with, if you do the charge things. I'm still charging slower than anyone else. Except for- oh no! Why is my- Oh man, that sucks. Somebody- we had a team of three. I hate when people do that. Somebody already left, and my, my second character there is garbage. She's- not fit. I, I only really have this one particularly good character. I was gonna level up Claire and stuff, but I haven't spent the uh, money on it yet. The the you know in-game money, not whaling. You can like basically buy experience, but it's fairly expensive. But it's weird. You get I experience items, but you still have to use money to you no know, no you attack. What are you doing? I don't think I have the hang of this charging thing. I think I'm just doing worse. <laughs> I should have just told him to rush, honestly. How do we- how do you even- I don't even understand how healers get, like, rushed. Do you get heal- do you get rushed for healing as well? I don't even know which of her attacks is which, honestly. Oh, I think she's getting it. I think she's getting it. I'll definitely start the rush with her, because she'll- she'll deal no damage. There we go. No hard feelings. Um, guys? What, are, are we not rushing? What's... What's the deal here? <laughs> I was gonna say, guys. Yeah, usually... Oh. I guess everybody kind of wants to be the last one to rush, because that's who does the most damage. But, like, I kind of wanted the, 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 the gold border one there to do. Oh, hey, we get easier attack. <laughs> she uses the volleyball. She's freaking, um, she's Waka. <laughs> she's using her blitz ball. So who else was super salty because they couldn't 100% the game in part? because of the stupid blitzball thing. 
My performance is kind of crap right now, and it's mostly because I'm streaming this to my Chromecast as well as recording. So it it performs a bit better. My phone's not really... I got a 5X, so it's a little bit old. But it, it really performs just fine if I'm not streaming to Chromecast. Oh, and I looked up, since the last video, I looked up what you could... Like, what options were to, um... To, like, be able to record directly over USB-C to HDMI. Uh, there's, like, almost no options. I could get Samsung, and I hate Samsung. Um, I don't like their OEM-ness. I don't like how they're like, oh yeah. You know. We, we only want you to use our weird crappy apps. And here's Bixby, because everybody likes Bixby and stuff. And I, I just don't like them. And, um... Like, my, the ones that I wanted were Google or OnePlus, and neither of them support USB-C to, to HDMI. And, like, so few do. Like, it's... it's stupid. <laughs> my best staff is genuinely that, like, finger staff that that one girl has, uh, Welch. Guys, are you gonna rush? Why does the healer want to rush last? Rush, please. Oh, there, there she goes. <laughs> Everybody wants to be the last to rush, and it's silly. I kind of find it funny that the so many of the beach characters are in fact. Um, is this? Are they are they on auto or something? Why didn't they rush? That's weird. I kind of wonder if some people aren't autoing this boss just because it's so easy. It still takes a while to... so I wouldn't want to go on auto just because... I mean, the auto is not amazing AI-wise. It doesn't really have self-preservation, and it would slow people down, and I wouldn't want to do that in a multiplayer thing. I always try to... Right, I need to... I need to... I think... I'm gonna switch up my thing to add Aura Wall back into my skill set here. I think they disconnected. But that's fine. Only if the host disconnects is that a problem. Which is a relief. Uh, just, just, just rush. Is it dead? No. <laughs> oh, this boss drops 16 ton weights. Actual 16 ton weights. So stupid. Why would you leave me? <laughs> Whatever, they might have had connection problems. I mean, it's, you know, phones, but... It is very easy, but it's not, like, super fast. Like, that took three minutes. Partly because, you know, we should have had one more teammate, and one person, I'm pretty sure, disconnected or left their phone on auto. Rice Boy. Rice Boy. That's... That is a name. I think I've played with Kaio before. I think... Uh, that name sounds familiar. I don't think... I don't recall them being rude before, so I think they might just had network trouble or something. It's hard to tell. When you're, when you're on your phone, I can't really expect, you know, flawless dedication and, you know, a complete lack of network troubles. What other goodies do we get? I think we get some limit break materials and that's about... You always get stamps for the events too, which is neat. You can use stamps. Those are the things I've been using to kind of communicate there. But yeah, that's pretty much the new event. I don't... I haven't unlocked the little extra scenes. Maybe I'll add those in a little addendum to the end of the video. Uh, once I unlock them. Actually... Let me see how much those cost. I like these little events with the with event currency and stuff. Are you looking for anything in particular? This guy have finally started or Makai Wars finally started having those and um I think it's a lot more fun than their usual. Oh okay, I can buy both of them, so I'll just do those right now, I guess. The story things. Two shell of reminiscence. Sure, sure, sure. I was hoping for another 5-star ticket. I think the last one had a 5-star ace ticket or something. Or maybe that was the Mazeria thing. Which was like the super hard exchange mode. But, or a super hard boss reward. But oh well. I wonder if maybe they'll add something to this later. I don't know if that's how that works. If maybe they add the Misery 2 thing afterwards. And then there's more extra rewards. Uh, that could be the case. 
Yeah, let's go. Oh, I'll show you this. The story is not much in addition to the last one. King Blue Fluffle Pants has been rescued, but you need to save his queen, who I can only assume is like a pink Fluffle Pants, and you have to fight Million Eyes, which was that three eyed thing. Three is significantly less than a million, by the way, but. By the way, Sophia is so small in her, like, regular portrait here. She's like. I guess it's the angle, but she looks like she's like half the size of everyone else. So which game is Sophia from? Like, look at this. Like, Remy's butt is bigger than Sophia's whole body. It's all encompassing. <laughs> so many characters vibrate in this game. It's... A lot of vibrations. I love this natural conversation pose. This is the pose that I talk to people all the time. All the time in. Oh, so this is another one of those things where Earth is like dead and stuff. I mean, <laughs> pretty logical conclusion, but... I guess it's a good, you know, impetus for space travel and all that crap. We ruined this planet, so let's go find another planet to ruin. By the way, she has like three layers of underwear going on. What's what's the deal with that? Oh, you can't see my mouse cursor. But but she's got like I don't know, man. I guess it's ninja things. Hashtag just ninja things. What would I like to do? Eat watermelon, play volleyball, go on a grand adventure in the undersea kingdom. Hell yeah, a grand adventure. What's this? Are we not on a grand adventure as we speak? That's his voice now. Are you saying my kingdom is nothing but a vacation on the beach for you people? Oh, Clarice. He's vibrating. Wait. <laughs> Wait, you made King Robin cry. Sorry, King Robin. Are these like regular creatures? And are these like the obligatory weird cute creature that JRPGs tend to always have? At any rate. See, I don't know these things. I know that Xenosog has those screwed up rabbits with a human face on the back of their head. That's my kind of cute, quote unquote, cute character. The one that gives you horrible nightmares. Forever. That's right, Parker. Yes? Yes, hello. Moo, moo. Meow. <laughs> Guest commentary provided by Parker. He woke me up today, by the way. I, I over or My phone was dead. Uh, <laughs> thanks to this game, actually. Uh, I left it on, like, 20% battery, but it died overnight. And uh, so I didn't get up. And... Parker kept yelling at me, I'm like, what's, what are, you, what are you doing, Parker? And he just does that sometimes, so I figured it was because... Yes, hi. Um, I just figured it was because he was being a butthead. So I checked my phone, and my phone was dead, and I was like, wait, what the heck? And then I get up, and it's like, it's 7.20, and it's like, oh, Parker woke me up because I overslept. Yes, yeah, so thank you. Thank you for being annoying for once. And he stopped meowing the, the moment that I got up and was like clearly awake. He stopped meowing, so I assume he was in fact trying to wake me up. Yes, yes. Because cats do realize routines and stuff. Like Parker's usually expecting me around when I get home. Oh, by the way, cool fact about Claire, that one, uh, that one five star. I, I was so lucky in my early pulls, and then everything turned to garbage. But, um, Claire actually does more damage if you rush with her alone, and then go to, and then kind of combo. I can just put this on auto. Yeah, piece of cake. Yeah, the events, the, the, the missions in general and stuff are really short, but I guess it's kind of alright, because they... Oh, honey, that's my- that's a comb. What do you want about that? Um... At least they have little story events, so it's not... I guess the event is mostly just the story and the boss, so it's not really a big deal. The mission's just kind of like, mm, 
there. What are you doing, Parker? Yeah, are there, for anybody who who knows the global game, uh, are there any character draws I might be interested in coming up other than like Eve? Like particularly interesting characters or whatever, good designs um, as far as the limited things. Cause I'm, I'm kind of just considering pulling on this thing just because it'd be neat to have the full squad, the full swimsuits, meh, swimsuit squad, which is surprisingly hard to say. <laughs> just flicked his tail like directly in my face. Um, everyone seems to be using Summer Sophia. I haven't seen Summer Remy yet. I know somebody in my in the Discord got Summer Remy. I think Philo got her. I really like her art. But uh, in fact, it's the thumbnail, but of this video. But let's take a peeksies. You can replay the story things, by the way. So if you want to see what the other branch options, the dialogue branch things did. You can see that. Parker looks so majestic in the fan. Sorry if the fan is slightly loud, by the way, but that's just because my Chromecast overheats in the summer heat, especially since I can't have the air conditioner on. <laughs> I mean, your options are kind of air conditioner or fan. I hate, I hate Koro so much, by the way. I just thought you should know that. I hate, he's produced, we have replicators? I was gonna mention the, the the theme the theme on the main thing really reminds me of Star Trek. I wonder if that was an inspiration because they even have like replicators and stuff. Oh, taunt me with a character I don't have. And she's got like the beach shorts thing going on. I like that. On Earth, they had a special ritual. Oh, <laughs> I figured they would do the Japanese watermelon thing. Doesn't this just get sand and, like, bits of wood in your watermelon? I, this doesn't seem... <laughs> I, I never got the appeal of this one. It's like pin the tail on the donkey, but then you, like, eat the donkey after bashing it with a stick and covering it with sand. And that sounds... I hate Koro so much. I, I'm glad that Koro is not the one using. <laughs> My senses will detect any cheating. I don't. I want. I don't want to give the, the swole bear man like a stick. I think he might kill us all. You think Glados is scary? But look at this thing. All right, prepare for comedy things. Prepare for me getting hit in the head and this being all a dream. Actually, considering the last one. Why is she, stop vibrating. There's so much vibration in this game. This, calm down. Booty. Whoa. Booty shot there. Whoa. Gonna have to censor that. And the vibration. Those are both. No, no, not the vibration and the booty. That's too much. That is too much, ma'am. What is that? It's got like a little plush. Doesn't feel like a modern melon. <laughs> Good. Yes. Hit him. Hit him more. Yes. Please, Captain. <laughs> yes, yes, destroy him. Yes, kill the bear, kill the Omo Chow bear. Please stop vibrating. Not a suspicious shadow. A hey, fun fact: when when they do the um, like the official rules, there are official rules and like a judging competition for the stupid watermelon thing. Um, the traditional way of like making sure that the blindfolds really work is they drop like a thousand yen or not a thousand that's small but like they drop like a really big yen bill in front of the the blindfolded person if they don't try to pick it up it's assumed that yeah it's working <laughs> we're gonna get hit in the head aren't we yeah <laughs> that's kind of how that always goes <laughs> it was all a dream. <laughs> Why would you eat cold treats underwater? Wouldn't, like... How does that work? I don't understand how any of this works, honestly. Whatever. 
Alright, let's see the other one real quick. This turned out much longer than I thought it would. Dang. <laughs> Whenever I try to sit down for like, oh yeah, let's just do a quick little video on on this thing. And it always ends up like half an hour or more. <laughs> but oh well. I mean, I was going to do a live stream, so I guess I'm kind of in the mood to blab about crap. And I got kind of... couldn't do that, so... Yeah, I, <laughs> I never thought I would genuinely consider, like, trying to move and, like, get a new job. Because my internet sucks. But... <laughs> it, <laughs> the, the Not being able to stream and just having to, like, test and stuff and... The, the, the stream thing is... it's it really sucks. Where's my welcome thingy? Uh, one is fine, I guess. I don't really need help for these things. It's so weird to have this on, on the TV. It's kind of neat, but like, I have to control it from the phone still. So it's kind of like playing the Wii U. Where like, you have to tap on, it shows on the big screen TV. Um, that particularly sucked with Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, because you could look on the TV, it was beautiful 1080p, uh, really high quality visuals, um, but it's impossible to play that game looking at the TV, because you gotta, you know, you gotta draw on the, the main screen, or on the Wii U screen at all times, and so, it's like, you don't even get to see the cool stuff, and, ugh. The Wii U is such a mess of design. Why is he yikesing? Now, I tend to... Like, you have to specifically kind of go for a lobby, or you can just kind of like, join any lobby. So, nobody tends to be specifically trying to join these, like, rando missions. I think maybe he yikes because he thought we were doing a different mission, I don't know. Also, oh, there's a lot of Trents in this game. Also, we're clearly not underwater in this battlescape, so... Whatever. It's kind of funny because the, I think they made this beach, like, battle theme just for this event. But it doesn't take place on a beach, it takes place underwater in, like... Magical, you can breathe underwater for gameplay purposes land. Which is a very good land. I like that land. I've been there many times in my days. Alright, let's see what physical or mental trauma that our character sustains in this next bit here. Come on now. A diabolical pitch. She's gonna throw something into my skull, isn't she? Oh, right, it's because she does the volleyball thing. I bet that is what happens. Yep, it me. Uh-oh. Phrasing. Battle simulator. We're at a beautiful resort. Doggy ball. She still has a thing, like, a doggy thing. Her regular outfit has, like, little dog prints on it. Like, feet prints. Anyway, we're gonna get hit in the head and get a concussion, and it was all a dream. Oh, already happened. Dead. Oh, not dead yet. <laughs> they try to impart the sense of, like motion and stuff. It works all right. Grumble. My spike is just gonna match one active. Cheater. Filthy cheater! How dare you filthy cheaters. Oh. It was just my brain damage again. My one regret is that I have bonitis. She's got those- oh, I guess they're cat feets. She's got little kitty cat. Little stocking things. Those are neat. Is regular her in the game? I guess she probably is. I just haven't seen her. 
<laughs> well, guess I've got brain problems. Is that is that the source? Of, is that the canon cause of like all of the limited events in this game? Because these are my first two events in the game. Are all events just you having severe brain problems and like nothing was real? It's like that. Oh god, what the heck is the name of it? What's the name of that show where that the, the, everything was just this kid looking at a snow globe and the whole thing was fake? The, it's like the stupidest cop out ever, but like made it also really famous. It's like St. Elsewhere or something, I think it was. Yeah. Anyway, I like the little stamps you get to communicate with people. I, I, my favorite one's the Summer Muria one, though. But it's like you never have a reason to use it. Because it's like pretty please, and it's like the only time I can think to use it is like to start the match. But it's not like entirely clear. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> that was much longer than I intended it to be, but yeah. That's, um, that's kind of the event, and, uh, yeah. I do wonder if maybe the M2 mission gets added later, though. It probably does, because that's kind of a bit easy. Quick little addendum here. After I spent nearly two hours encoding the stupid video, this hide today's updates thing never works. And it never works in any of the mobile games I play. I don't know why daily spamming me with the updates thing is, like, such a required essential thing. But, um, I got, I got another ace ticket from the new event thing, from the coral shop thing, and I guess I should have recorded me playing it, but guess what I got? You can probably guess, considering I bothered to add it, you know, to a video. But yeah, I got Summer Remy, the, uh, the one I really wanted from this thing, so I, I'm not gonna pull, like, ever until the next limited thing, which generally is how you're supposed to play these things. But yeah, Summer Remy seems really good. She's an attacker. Um, she's got a little plush thinger there. I don't know if that's her boyfriend. I don't know who that is. I don't... Like I've said many times. They really emphasize the booty in a lot of these. Just saying. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, Summer Remy's pretty cute. Um, how do I do that profile? Oh, yeah, here we go. I don't know which game she's from. Let's find out. All right, this is... <laughs> This is, this is one of the first- oh wait, it does tell you, never mind. Star Ocean The Last Hope. I don't know which one that is, but- Hello, yes! Star Ocean is one of those subtitle games instead of just putting the number on there. I like when they do both, you know, Star Ocean 4, The Last Hope, or whatever it is. Yes, hello, Parker. Oh, I guess that's probably Edge, the little chibi, like, plush thingerino dude. But yeah, she's an attacker, and so I have now- I now have one good character for every role, in fact, due to having Summer Remy, uh, and Summer Sophia, so I didn't have a healer before, but the fun thing is, like I said, <laughs> this- this video took two hours to encode, I don't know why. I guess 1080p plus mobile, and like, this is a really high motion game. How do I see my list of characters again? Um, but yeah, it's- it was a pain, and now I gotta redo the whole dang thing. But yeah, I got a good- I got a great Defender, which Defender seemed moderately rare. I also got Victor, I think his name is here, who's supposed to be pretty good. I've seen him a few times in multiplayer, too. We got Summer Muneria, who's a good Defender. Summer Sophia, who's a good healer. Um, I got Claire and Summer Miki, who are both supposed to be pretty good uh, sharpshooters. Um, regular Muria here is a really good Invoker. I think this dude is, too. I've seen- I've seen all of the Invokers, the 5-star Invokers that I have. In play before and uh, some of Remy's supposed to be a really good attacker um, there's always power creep in these kind of mobile games and it I forget which set is the newer ones but we got some of the newer summer characters before the Japanese version well not before but like the global release is two or the Japanese release is two years old right the mobile the global one is like two months and so we got the the really powerful summer characters like way before Relatively speaking, the Japanese that set, so they should be good for a good long time. Uh, I also hear regular Remy here is supposed to be a pretty good sharpshooter. So I have three good sharpshooters, and I don't have I don't have the materials to ascend all of them. But uh, I'm out fo I'm out focus on Claire next, actually, in terms of like ascending and stuff, just because she's not an ace character, so she has cheaper stuff. And Claire's kind of neat because she she buffs the whole team when she's um, uses the rush, so you can kind of use her rush first. 
and then use the rest of the party to do a 3 rush, and it does actually more damage than a 4 rush without her. But yeah, I've been enjoying this game. I kind of, you know, it's a grindy game. You know, you, you grind, but it's it's more fun, I think, to play with multiple people and the big bosses, and uh, I think it's got a, even for a grindy game, I think it's got a pretty good setup, and uh, I've been enjoying it. What I will not enjoy, however, is encoding this video again. Oh, fun tip! Uh, thanks to Philo in the Discord who points out, but if you go and play the final boss mission in the story mode, you get insane amounts of rank points for little stamina. And so I've gotten like 20 ranks, just and you can just play it near constantly because you every time you rank up, you get more stamina, right? So you can play it near constantly, just keep ranking up. So and you get a bunch of you get limit break materials and some other stuff as you do it. But yeah, this mission here. Um, the final planet, Pasithi, and you go to this mission here, bringing down the third pulse tower. You just spam that in single player really quick, and you rank up really fast. So if, if anybody else is playing this, uh, that's a pretty cool tip I found out. So yeah, looking forward to the second half of this event. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream this again just because Medicom has been such a pain in the butt. But I wanted to kind of add that as a little addendum to the last video since I got everybody I wanted. So that's pretty cool. So... Thanks for watching. Hello, Parker. Thanks for rubbing your face on my phone. So yeah, see everybody later.